How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Water looked kind of poopy today. We had a kind of a tropical system. Something came through a couple days ago. Well, yesterday and the day before. Uh, wind blew 30 knots out of the south. Lots and lots of rain. So it kind of made the, you can tell the water in here is a little brown. It's normally a little cleaner. But after it passed us, it sucked all the weather with it. So I don't know how well the camera can see, but it is an absolute slicker out there. So we've got the little boat in the water. We're going to go kind of just enjoy the day. It's a Sunday here in Key West. You can see all the trailers in the parking lot. After two days of rain, everyone is ready to get after it. So we'll maybe go check out the sandbar, bring in some rods, and we'll maybe just do a little bit of fishing. Let's rock and roll. Sing it, babe. So fun fact you may not know about Will. He is a, what's the word I'm looking for? Retiree. No. <laughs> what's it when you do something and you can't help yourself? Obsessive compulsive. Chronic? Yeah. He's a chronic folder. <laughs> you can give him anything and he will fold it. Blankets, towels, shirts, hats, chairs, doesn't matter. <laughs> Anywhere Will goes, he just folds things. <laughs> you ready to rock? Let's do this. If you've got a keen eye, you may recognize this spot. I dove it a couple months ago, pulled all kinds of snappers off it. We're going to throw some lures at it today. You got to hook them. Uh, I've got weeds on it. She's not swimming right now. Swimming a little funky. Oh, no. Oh my God. How? It's got a mangrove. <laughs> Dude, they're wise on me. How are they wise on my lure already? I want a mangrove. <laughs> I need to Let go. Sink a little bit, I need to go in those woods to <laughs> go get that, that sea minnow. Did you see how far it went? Not that far. It's like. Oh, it's not going anywhere. Give me a thing. <laughs> So if you look, I think the camera, the amount of barracudas that are right here, and I can't get them to eat this artificial lure. Look at them. I mean, I can count seven or eight, like big ones, like perfect keepers. Will's lure came off and went in the bushes. <laughs> we don't know exactly where, but I'm going to continue fishing. Got a bar jack, bunch of mangroves. This is really really cool i wish i had a head cam so we moved around the corner i mean there's just barracudas everywhere Okay. Oh, I had a bite. Oh, okay. right. he's oh, on! Oh, oh, <laughs> Barracuda's everywhere. And I couldn't get him. Okay. I couldn't get him to eat. We literally moved around like. Okay. <laughs> All right. You All can't right. fake that. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad one, huh? No, he's that's good size. Up. Is it eater? He's perfect size. So is that what we are now? We're just barracuda eaters? No. But <laughs> I want to show people at home that barracudas are delicious. <laughs> and they're often overlooked. So last time we did barracuda burgers. So good. Seriously, so good, by the way. Fire. This time we're just going to do barracuda on the half shell on the open fire. And that is our first barracuda 
for dinner. I'm gonna brain and Ooh, I almost lost him. Right, I think swim. I grabbed him on this side of the fence. <laughs> I'm gonna swim that way. I'm gonna swim in the middle of the ocean. No, hold on, babe. You gotta be our trolling motor. No, I didn't sound as fun. I'm just, I need to be cooled off. Oh, yeah. Give those contents of the stomach back to the, the locals here. <laughs> Not much content, but the organs. Very sad about my lure. Yeah. Rest in peace, Will's lure. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Got one barracuda. I think we need maybe one more that size, and we should be good. I know, it's, the water's like the perfect temperature, huh? I think that's what I needed, was to get in and cool off. I feel better already. A little warm? I was just really, I think I was just overheating or something, I don't know. I believe it. Like dizzy. You see how it's doing that? This is what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. Yeah? I'm trying, baby. No. Babe, me too. I know you are. Does it not look like I'm trying right I did now? Not, that was not an implication <laughs> that you were not trying. I was joking. Making a joke, but... Oh, he followed it all the way to the boat. Okay. Well, let me get in the boat. Before you bring another cuda there. It gets like it's like 15 feet the whole side all those ledges with the mangroves oh that's, <laughs> that's the one i'm looking for grab the camera Ooh. you took a little drag out that's a good one Perfect size. Hey, get him in the boat. I'm trying. Oh yeah, that's our eater right there. Oh, wow. oh, oh. Stand up for a sec, babe. I gotta drop him down in that slot. I don't want that hook in. Oh. That wasn't a step toe, was it? I have pliers in them. <laughs> it's chaos. He's just making his presence known. He is. He's not happy about it. I should be wearing a glove and doing that with uh, pliers, but you know me. I like to teach myself a lesson multiple times. That is a perfect size eater barracuda. Yeah, baby. Uh oh, I just hooked myself. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's in my fingernail. Ow. No. You got one, babe. Man, what a sweet catch. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> I just got my fingernail. Brain and bleed like I always do. Gotta be getting annoying. If you're new to the channel, the reason I brain for humanity reasons, humaneness. Um, and the reason I bleed is for meat quality. I'm actually gonna gut this feller as well. That's like the perfect size, exactly what I was looking for. Got 
dinner covered. And that is why we fish wire. Look at those things. <laughs> Look at those teeth. Holy crap. Take a finger off. Hold on. So all these are little baby pilchards. And we were going to go sword fishing tomorrow, but with the price of gas, that's an expensive excursion. I think we're going to catch, come catch some of these and go mangrove snapper fishing. Probably right here in the same spot. So look out for that video. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's like all the way, I don't think the camera picks it up. They're no. all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Woo, look at the stingray. Big stingray. Ooh. So we have got plenty for dinner. Um, a couple of big fat juicy barracudas. Well, little barracudas, but tasty ones. I just can't get over all the bait. There's so much bait. Um, but we're gonna go check out the sandbar for a little bit and be tourist. This is one of the places we come to kind of just hang out and relax, quite honestly. Um, see all the locals over there. I would get closer, but they've got music going, which means I can't use the video um, for monetization issues, but just a beautiful place to come and hang out. We've got our barracudas for dinner. We are gonna head back. Get these cooked up. Saw some dolphins on the way home. Try and check them out. Where are they going? Are they going back side or front side? Right. I was saying. A lot of times you want to slow down because they're dolphins, but a lot of times they want the boat, like they like the action. They'll, they'll ride the wake. Yeah, they like the wake. We're going to try this again. Go. Here they come. Oh, it's a, it's a, a juvenile. There we go. I told you they just like the boat. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. I told you I wasn't full of it. That made my day. It's in your backyard. That was really cool. <laughs> I've never seen the backyard. Just to give you a heads up, our house is right there. This is literally in our backyard. Well, my day's made. That was cool. They just wanted to play. They're so dang cute. So we're, 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 we're from a long day on the boat. <laughs> a really nice, calm day too. What do you guys watch on YouTube? Did you guys want them? There's some of the locals. They wanted to be a part of an episode. Thank you so much for the support. Do you have anything to tell the world? Um, Follow him. <laughs> <laughs> She's working for me. I like it. I really appreciate it. This will be up in uh, probably like two weeks. <laughs> that was so cute. This is adorable. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear her? She said, heck yeah, we're in an episode. Heck yeah, we're in an episode. <laughs> so love cute. it. It's crazy to me that they think you're cooking with clams. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? Yeah, whenever they ask, who are you? They said clams. Home sweet home. All right. So I've got our 
our Barracuda. I know I kind of, not kind of, I know I just did an episode on Barracuda, but um, we turned them into burgers and it kind of takes away from the actual flavor of the fish. And I wanted to kind of just show you that Barracuda actually can be delicious. Um, I'm personally not a bigger fan of the bigger ones, but the smaller ones, I eat them up whenever I get them and I need fish if I'm short on something else. I mean, you can see these. this is beautiful white meat. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna cook these on what we call the half shell. I used to do this um, a lot when I was younger with like redfish. Um, they have nice big scales. Pretty much you take the, take the fish in half, the flays off, cut the, um, the ribs out, and then you still wanna get these pin bones out that run right kinda where the bloodline would be. And you can take them out with, without um, having to take the skin off. So you just kind of score both sides of where those pin bones are. And the reason I'm taking these uh, bones out ahead of time, you know, sometimes you cook a fish whole, you leave everything in there. Um, Barracuda, the smaller ones, have really, really small bones and they're kind of a pain to pick through. Um, and like I said, the reason we're leaving that skin on is because it's kind of gonna kind of act like setting it on aluminum foil or on a pan. We're gonna throw it on the grill just like that. Um, well, season them up, but you're using those scales to kind of almost bake them. going already. I'm just going to use some pauper domes. Got some wind picking up here. Woo! Supposedly we've got some weather moving in tonight. Man. Note to self, do not, do not season in the wind. me. Can throw those just like that. Like I said, those scales are almost going to act as like setting it on aluminum foil, so it's not going to stick to the uh, um, stick to the grate there. And I've never done this with barracuda, but I assume it's going to um, almost act the same. Once you get it finished, you'll see. Hopefully, you take a fork and run it under it, and it just runs right off the skin. So this shouldn't take more than five minutes or so. I'm gonna throw some zucchinis on now. We got the room. Just a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of garlic salt. Should be enough heat. We've got some wind moving through, so may have to pull these bricks out, but should be okay. We've got too much wind coming through. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's why I got a spare. I got to turn the heat up the old fashioned way. Fish is actually almost done, so here in a sec, I'm just gonna throw some chunks of butter on there and maybe two or three more minutes, we should be good. You can see we are cooking now, baby. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, 
What fish is this? I'm gonna let you eat it. You can guess. Oh gosh. They, they just built this. Oh. Ooh, actually, I should let Courtney guess because she actually doesn't know what this is. Ah. <laughs> Did I what? You don't know what this is. She guesses it. I have some options. Can it be like multiple choice? <laughs> <laughs> multiple choice? I'm going to attempt this. This is what I used to do with redfish. Let's see if it'll slide off the skin like it used to. Can I put the corn on now? Yeah, you can throw the corn on. So that feels crunchy. Oh, they're going to come apart. Boom! Oh. Just like it used to. Alright, Courtney, you have to try that. Tell me, one, if it's good and I want honesty. And two, you know Courtney did not be honest. And two, what do you think it is? <laughs> oh. You're, are you going to give me options though for real? <laughs> we'll just eat it first. Courtney needs multiple choice. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> it's moist. No fishiness. Ooh. Oh, Alright. Your options are. There's nothing else really shaped We're like so that. Soft. Redfish. Redfish, <laughs> trout, or barracuda? Oh, barracuda. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> she knows better. And she saw the skin. That was cheating. Okay. I didn't know until you said shape. Well, but you isn't said that trout. Had you not said that, I would have. Would, would you ever have th thought that was barracuda with the reputation that they have? I've never eaten barracuda before. Oh, well. <laughs> they're known to be stinky. Yeah. But I mean, you can see how it's just, it's gorgeous. It's so soft. How big was this barracuda when you caught him? Yeah, this big plus the a tail and a head. Oh. Just a babe. The small ones are delicious, but. But that is all we've got. Thanks for coming along. Maybe this, this will probably be in the middle of the week somewhere, just kind of a goofing off afternoon. Down here in Key West. Thanks so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Really do appreciate all the support. We are going to enjoy dinner, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. <laughs>